talking about Irish pubs and Irish music. And then to the Irish hills of Michigan. But for now, back to Detroit. And we're starting here. Oshelay, the Irish pub, downtown Detroit. Since 1975. Oshelay is an iconic Detroit Irish pub. Family owned and operated, now in its third generation. Has a full menu of Irish foods and over 30 beers on tap. But the only Irish beer that counts for me is Guinness. Arthur Guinness started brewing ales in 1759 at the St. James Gate Brewery in Dublin, Ireland. And what's nearby in walking distance? Right down the street from Detroit's Creek Town which might be the subject of a future video. In the 19th century, more than half of Ireland immigrated to the United States, and it was custom for a tavern to be established before churches or even forts. Pubs were often the first stop for new arrivals. They became centers of the community and a means to establish connections. As for Irish music, Celtic guitar began in America around the 1840s with the influx of the Irish immigrants, but it was not widely used for over a hundred years until the folk music boom of the 1960s. There's no long-standing tradition of Celtic guitar in Ireland. The music is played primarily on pipes and harp. During Roman times, Celtic bands used a cruet, a lute-like instrument with four strings. Let's visit some of my favorite Irish pubs around town. Dick O'Dowell's in Birmingham, Michigan. I performed here back in the late 1990s and early 2000s, and the pub is still here today. Let's take a little trip west to Ann Arbor, Michigan. Home of the University of Michigan Wolverines, and the Big House, Michigan Stadium. Two Irish pubs here. The Blue Leprechaun, Ann Arbor, Michigan. Connor O'Neill's Irish pub, Ann Arbor, Michigan. Connor O'Neill's, another one of my favorite pubs where I performed back in the 1990s and early 2000s. Let's travel a little further west to the Irish Hills of Michigan. I'm in the Irish Hills part of Michigan, and yes, there is such a place. Here it is. It's a beautiful central part of the state. Lots of farmland and lots of antiques, lots of interesting old structures. The Irish Hills were settled by Irish immigrants fleeing the potato famine of the 1840s. And here is Brickwalker Tavern, a 170 year old building, which was a stagecoach stop, a tavern, hotel, dance hall, and gathering place. As we leave the Irish Hills, a reminder to please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Or better yet, join my website as a member for free music downloads. See you next time.